Okay, now that everything is being installed and updated, now we are ready to start our project. I'm going to serve my project in a new uh, terminal tab, ng-serve, to see everything is working properly. Okay, uh, let's see how it looks like now. Perfect, now it looks great. And we have our main page. Uh, now, one more thing I want to show you. Before I make my project, I usually like to have a few folders here. Let me have it here, folders. Okay, I, I'm going to have a folder for my uh, some of my modules, which I create separately. Okay, here I want to have another folder for my components. And I'll show you why I do that. And then another folder for my models and another folder for my services. I can also have another folder for my guards, which we are going to use later. Now, why do I have this module? Because a lot of people keep all their components inside their app module and if we have several or so many components I don't like to have them all imported here and also imported here it's gonna be a very big heavy app module later and hard to track that's about my components also about my angular material in angular material if you have worked with it you know that you're supposed to uh, import a lot of modules right for everything for toolbar icons buttons and then you are supposed to import them and also import all these items inside your app module so I don't like that and I create a separated module put it in here in my added modules so my app module is very clean and uh, small Okay, now we are ready to add our modules inside this. So ngg to generate module and I want to add it inside this folder. So I say added modules and forward slash material. Okay, if you want to see that in one line, it's here. And then hit enter. All right, that one is added inside here, inside a folder module. We don't want that folder. We are going to delete it later. Now let's add another one for, that one was for our material. But I want to have another module for our, all our components so we don't have to add our components, import them inside the main app uh, module. So the other module is going to be components. Okay, and hit enter. Perfect. Now in our added module, we have two folders. We have one that is component and the other one, which is the material. I don't like it this way. I don't want to give them each a folder. So I both of them into my main. Uh, all right. Uh, main folder so I can delete folders now in my added module I have two modules which are component and my material now let's work on the material I want to show you how we do it for the material we don't need this common module so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and also we don't need it here we don't also need the declarations okay we just need an import and also we need an export okay these are what we need so here i'm gonna declare a const let's say let's call it material all right and i'm going to have a list of items here okay what those lists are Whatever angular material I want to use, I am going to uh, put it there. For example, I want to use this toolbar, for example, my toolbar, material icon. I want to use button, and all of them are 
uh, from this library material uh, right so each of them I want to use I'll just uh, import them let's say I want to import those two okay I just import them here and now I need to import them here as well material my toolbar and mat uh, icon alright so both of them are there now the next step is to just import this material this constant variable into my ng model and also I need to export it why because once I s export that I can use it now in my app module okay I go into my app module and now I can just go ahead and import that material module now I have all my materials imported into this project and these are all separated so now I can have 20 items here all in one file now I want to do the same thing about my components so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a const here of components spelled components and I create a list and I'm gonna have ngg generate component this time and I'm going to put them all in this components folder alright so components uh, forward slash a checkout page for example so I'm going to have checkout and let's generate those home login component and navbar no access that no access is in case uh, the user is not an admin and we want to reroute it to this no access page not found if the user enters uh, an invalid URL orders orders and I want to have shopping cart as well shopping cart okay I also want to now see what we have here you know a components folder we have all these components right in order to manage my orders and also manage my products I want to have two more items and those are for admins only so I'm going to put it in the components folder but I'm creating another folder called admin and then I am going to say manage manage orders component and I want to say also manage product manage product okay let's see what we have so far now in my admin folder I have these two components these are for manage orders and manage products okay now let's add all these components inside my components module let's start with the admin admin order manage orders okay manage oh, I had it actually manage order component uh, material no I'm sorry manage order I'm talking about components here let's close this one so I don't get confused okay and also we have manage products manage products component I have checkout component uh, checkout component I have home home component login uh, 
uh, no access no access component and not found component and uh, orders and last one is shopping cart okay I have all these components imported here now I want to import them all inside this declaration components okay and now I want to import them into my project so let's do that app routing module material module browser animation module okay good enough now I want to export also uh, my um, components because I want to be able to import it inside my app module I'll go into my app module I also can delete all these because we don't need them okay let me see if I don't delete anything wrongfully okay I can delete these and we can see how big it would be the our application now I can delete all of these and my app module is very clean and nice now I just uh, add my components here component module all right perfect my component module and let's move it up in here to see those are all my components and now let's run our application and see everything is good and working up to now the project is not broken no it's all good all right let me first go through and uh, app component dot html let's get rid of all of these and let's go ahead and do the home here to see if everything is yes that's right because that's app dash home okay and that's the name okay home works now uh, one thing I don't want all of these items to be in the corner like that so let's change some things here home component HTML okay these are all p tags right so in my style that CSS I want to uh, have my p tags to be p uh, font size x large okay and okay that's good better so when I once I click on them I can see they are in a better size I just checked and we don't need this angular material here because we already had it in our component that module so we are applying the materials like it's like our bootstrap uh, but it's angular material in our component module already we have it there see we have it already imported where are they yeah material and let's move these two up here all right so we have all our components imported here actually our routing as well I'm going to put the routing before them. Perfect. Just so you know, you need to make sure you have your routing module imported here as well as in your app.module. If you don't place it in app.module as well, it's not going to work. Your application is going to break. Okay, so I already uh, have this app routing module was here, so you don't delete that one. 